Here's something we got a lot of requests for, and that is to try and take type and logos and make them look kind of distressed, roughened, old, whatever you want to call it. Distressed is a common term. And the problem is we could do it with filters except for type. When you go to apply a filter to type, whoops, let's try that again, texturizer, for example, I get this message saying it must be rasterized. And the whole point of this is I'd like to try and find a way to do this I like to try and find a way to do this that doesn't include rasterizing the type. So we're going to add a new layer on top and we're going to use the fill command. Shift delete is a nice shortcut for fill or shift backspace. We're going to fill it with 50% gray, normal, 100% opacity. And the reason we're doing that is I want to use the filter add noise. And add noise, you can only add noise to something that already exists, not to a blank layer. So we're going to make sure we click monochromatic. This is the part of this technique where you have to experiment. Let's try some setting in around here. And again, each time you do this, you can experiment with different settings. We're going to try around 200%. Click OK. So now we have our texture layer sitting on top of both the logo and our type. And it's just a matter of changing different blending modes. Now, one quick way to do this, as long as the Move tool is selected, you can press Shift Plus, and that will go down through the different blending modes. You can see ones you like. That's not too bad. Lighten. Linear Dodge is actually pretty good, it looks. But I'm going to deliberately use one like this just to show you. You can sort of see the effect. Let me go back up. Shift minus goes back the other way. Linear dodge looks actually we could probably use that and be the end of the technique. But I want to show you just in case you find that you really like the look of a technique like this. But now you've got the noise everywhere. It's a very simple solution to this. We're going to duplicate the layer and move one on top of the type and one on top of the logo layer and then simply create a clipping group which means hold down option or alt and click between the layers like this and here and what that means is now the texture layers are clipped with the layers immediately below so now we can still edit the type as you can see here this is still editable type we can still play around with the logo but we've created the effect we want of a nice textured look and then we can of course save a copy of this that's flattened if we want to but leave it this way save this one just as is giving us this ability to make any change we want very nice way to create distressed type and logos with lots of flexibility phew after a tutorial like that there's nothing left to say and of course thanks very much for watching